Hello everybody, my name is Greg Knott, the Senior Warden of Homer Lodge 199. And let me welcome you to this episode of Masonic Curators. Today I want to show you a really cool Masonic collectible, which isn't really a collectible, but it's uh, something that should be seen, and that's our lodge room. Homer Lodge was founded in 1856, and they and the Royal Arts Chapter actually constructed this building, of which we're on the second floor of, in 1892, and the lodge opened, uh, or was dedicated at that time by the Grand Lodge officers. What's neat about this room is that the lodge, a couple of years ago, decided to restore this lodge room. We did a deep cleaning we painted the entire room and the ceiling. Uh, and what it caused was, I think, a spark of interest from the community. So we've used it as a point to not only revitalize the physical facility, but also the brotherhood within the lodge itself. So let me show you some of the details of the lodge. Here you see the altar, which has to be one of the biggest altars I've ever seen in a lodge. There's a kneeling pad around the entirety of it. You see the square and compass there on the front. The junior warden's jewel. Again on the front, on this side. And of course the, the junior warden's jewel on that side. Interestingly, there's not a senior warden's jewel on there, but I suspect the, uh, the junior warden's jewel is representative for the third degree. Uh, in the east, we have the Worshipful Master Station, and you see those just what I consider wonderful pictures uh, and, and windows above the Master's Chair. There's three of them. They're almost four feet high. They each have a, uh, a curve at the top of them. A lot of craftsmanship both on the window and the wood around the window. And let me show you the three of them a little bit closer. The first on the right is the square and compass. Uh, it's a deep blue, and when the sun shines through these uh, during the day, they illuminate this room like nothing else you've seen. You see the, the red and the blue at the bottom of the windows, and that, that comes through very striking, and it's just beautiful. Now, we've got some great photographs, but next to that is the all-seeing eye. That all-seeing eye is, is my very favorite thing in this lodge, other than the members. And the detail in that eye is nothing short of spectacular. So, of course, those are stained glass, but then they've been painted as well. And that eye, no matter where you are standing in this room, you would swear it's looking at you. One of our members, Darren Lanners, actually has that window as a tattoo and it looks very good the third window is of course the uh, the keystone from the royal arch homer chapter number 94 was here for almost 135 40 years and it closed but that window was representative of the chapter about three years ago we started a new chapter here in homer and it was uh, we received our charter admiration chapter number 282 in 2017 so it's once again really relevant because that window is uh, representative of our chapter see the treasure station with lots of books we're putting together a library those are volumes from past grand communications and convocations of the royal arch and the eastern star chapter work our way to the west you see the senior warden station you see our pillars over there and this is the original lodge room furniture, and I don't know if it predates the building or not. It's still in great condition, and it is just some heavy-duty stuff. We work our way over to the junior warden station in the south, and then back around to the secretary's table. You can see he's got the safe and the, the records back there. And, of course, our charter and some other things. One really neat thing, though, as I finish up this quick tour, are these ceiling fans. These ceiling fans are at least 75 to 80 years old, and they still work. And they would have been a real innovation for their time. They oscillate around not only the fan blades, but the actual fans. They go in a circular motion, so they're not only blowing air, but they're, they're doing it in a 360-degree fashion. So 
they're really neat and we've got a pair of them and like I said they actually still work so so that is Homer Masonic Lodge Lodge Room um, hope you enjoyed your quick tour and if you're ever in Eastern Illinois come see us third Monday seven o'clock we usually have a meal beforehand we'd be glad to have you so for this episode of Masonic Curators Greg Knott, Senior Warden Lodge, number 199, and we'll see you on down the road.